Jonathan Mellis, someone you might remember calling out of the DC jail using a black stereotype voice along with the name DJ Jerome. He has now been sentenced. Now, the government wanted 60 months of incarceration, three years of supervised release, $2,000 in restitution, and a fine of $88,464 which sounds very specific, that's because it came from the give, send, go amount. Instead, the judge gave him 51 months in prison, three years supervised release, and a $20,000 fine, so $68,000 less than the government asked. Behind me is the government's video sentencing evidence, which sadly does not include any of the calls out to the protests, which is sad because it could have only increased his sentence. So what evidence do they have on video if they weren't using the corner? He live streamed himself on January 6th. January 6th again. Took a photo of himself on January 6th. A clip of him on January 6th. But that's not all. If you go down enough, you're going to see. Also, they have screenshots of Facebook, Facebook, and a screenshot of February 6th, 2023 tweets. So yeah, he... um. Kind of dug his own hole, but uh, no, they did not actually use the corner this time against him. And no, they did not get the full amount of the give, send, go find. I don't know why it was only 20000 Maybe the judge thought that was okay. Maybe that's what he claimed was left. I am not really sure.